you? What if I don't want to focus on a project, but I want to focus on a certain area? So the, one of the, uh, the final one the improvement that I want to talk about really quickly is dashboards and the introduction of custom dashboards. And we, we, if you come into your dashboards area, you'll see these, this, this default dashboard here. And we pr we're providing you a number of visualizations and ways to surface information. So, um, you know, you kind of already have some visualizations based on project, based on issues, based on releases, based on performance. But let's say that I actually wanted to focus on an API endpoint, for example. Uh, one thing I could do, because it is come and create a new dashboard, I'll title, title this um, my important API, and I will focus, now I will add uh, some widgets. And let's say that I want to, uh, I want to see what the total count of errors is, and that's, that's a number. And this is going to be error.type is... And, and you'll, you'll notice that there's a number of error types we want, uh, or let's, let's say event.type. What we want is to not have, um, not have transactions, which is everything else, right? And, and so now the, uh, I can show the count, but what if this is for that project? So let's, let's add another level to this and say that transaction contains checkout. And now, um, now I'm seeing that my checkout API has this error count. Okay, cool. So um, what about that? That's the total number of errors. What about the unique number of issues that are that are out there, right? So, so I, let's go into unique, big number. Uh, we, we want that same, not event.type, I got to copy this transaction and transaction out. Let's just focus on that one. So now I can see what the, what the unique number is within this. Um, oh yeah, I need to unique error. So I add that. And now, now let's say that um, I want to know what the, how the impacted users are, uh, users. And come in here, and again, big number, use that, count, unique, user. And now I can see how many users are impacted. I can come and add some, some lines and say this is errors over time. And again, you know, have my same same query, but I'm gonna count those. And then maybe I'd like to also count the number of uh, add, add the unique users within there and just customize my, uh, my visualization to not focus, save and finish. To, now I'm not focusing on a project. I'm not focusing on a release. I'm not, I'm focusing on an API and gathering all the information that's relevant to that API into a single cohesive location um, and, and can then uh, get that information to anybody that's important. So